So recently I made a video teaching you how you can use misdirection on nuke to really open up your T side and make it very difficult for the other team to hold you back because you're manipulating their rotations and movements around the map. Well, I wanted to teach you today how we can do that same exact thing on Mirage because I think it's a very important concept to understand as a Counter-Strike player and it's really going to help you win more matchmaking games, pugs, and even team games. If any of you out there on competitive teams, please use this because I have experience in FPL, ECL, and lots of high up tournaments and uh you know events across the world so today i'm going to give you some of my knowledge that i have some of the knowledge i've stolen from other players in the scene and we're going to get better together but before we get into that i do have a message from the sponsor of today's video skin swap is the sponsor of today's video they are also kind enough to sponsor you with a free bonus by clicking on the link in the description skin swap is the ultimate place for counter-strike 2 and rust skins with a massive trading inventory in a top tier marketplace offering the most competitive rates out there the best part is that you can earn an insane 40 percent deposit bonus when you use the link in the description Combine that with the top of the line selling feature, including multiple different cash out methods and their trading feature, which takes under a minute. And there is absolutely no reason to not sign up with the link in the description. All right, so let's talk about it. So on Mirage T side, we are trying to find the gaps on the CT defense, right? That's with any map, but on Mirage, typically, you know, they're gonna play one player on A that's anchoring, right? He could be jump spotting back here or playing in sight. You're gonna have a connector player you're going to have a window player and two B players, one cow, one B site, right? So one thing that I want to teach you guys how to do is throwing smokes to unlock different parts of the map. So mid control is very important on Mirage, right? We're trying to get out middle here and it gives us a lot of options, right? We can split up connector. If we have middle, we can go up cat and we can boost into window, right? All of these literally give us like a pronged attack that really open up the map and make it so difficult for the other team to deal with, right? Cause they're worried about someone boosting, uh, you know, it makes the map go from being two dimensional to three dimensional for you because you have all these flanks and openings that are going to be hard to deal with. So how are we going to open this up without being obvious? Guys, we don't have to just run out middle, right? So what I want you to do is use this concept for your, your duo queue and your pugs call the strat, have two or three players sitting top mid here. And then the other two guys, I want you to come over here and throw a smokes, right? We're going to throw a right side exec. So one of you is going to smoke stairs like this line up with these two. Oh, I missed it. Line up with these two and then aim to the right of that. You can pause the video if you need to see it. And then I want one person just to throw a, some jungle smoke, right? I usually don't throw this, but like right there. And you're going to throw this right side execute, throw flashes out and get somebody out here, right? Get somebody out apex taking these fights. Maybe there's an opera CTU die unlucky, whatever. But the point is we're getting out here and we're cutting off the vision and we're making these players try to spam through here and do this because guess what? If the window player is now rotated here, trying to spam and flash over or go through and the connector player is sitting here trying to spam through the smokes and do his thing. Guess what that means, guys? We now have two or three players coming out middle here, shift walking out, walking, taking these fights. There's going to be a cat player every single time there'll be a cat player that's coming to rotate to con and you can catch him off. Or if he doesn't, you literally have free backstab kills. And you know, a lot of times they might come back and check for it, but they're like half hearted clearing it. And there's two guys aiming at them and they're dead. Boom. Trust me, throwing these smokes on a side is going to allow you so much space out middle. Literally, it's going to be how you can take mid control so easily and you're going to win so many rounds doing this. Every top level team has a strat like this. Now, how can we do this reverse? One, we could just go through B. We have the smokes being thrown, but we have three guys in apps ready to run out. That's just a fake at that point. And that can be very effective as well. But, you know, uh, one thing I want to talk about now is doing the exact opposite. So instead, let's go ahead and smoke off window, right? Hopefully they actually hit this. And then we're going to smoke off top mid. This is off the round. At the start of the round, we're throwing this, right? We're throwing these smokes and we're getting out top mid and window boom perfect and we have two guys out here taking fights and dueling you know making pressure they're mauling off stuff they're just doing whatever right and now while we have guys heavy pressuring mid we're going to three-man walkout ramp there might be a tick uh, an upper ticket right don't get me wrong but now we have all this space because the other team is saying they're heavy fighting mid heavy fighting mid and now we're, we're all taking these duels out a trying to pressure the solo guy here because there should just be one anchor whatever you guys do understand that when you throw utol around the map the other team is forced to react to it right it's the same thing if you're throwing pressure on b right if you're pressuring this b guy off early round right like maybe we're throwing a lurk smoke i don't usually default up here so i don't know what the lurk smoke is i think it's that yeah perfect and we're you know we're, we're throwing the lurk smoke we're mauling van we're doing this guess what 
this guy is literally calling guys they're pressuring b i need help i really need help guys i, I can't hold this and then so his cat player now has to come here and support him right maybe he's playing off and goes like this but guess what that little bit of pressure just unlocks so much space because now we don't have to worry about a cat player and we can just slide up mid here and get in the ladder room a lot easier so now we're in ladder and now we have this pivot this uh pivot play unlocked around the map and we just have so much more space to work with a lot of you guys are struggling on mirage because you're not you're being too one-dimensional and you're sending five people everywhere or you're just doing a whole lot of nothing right you're you have two guys sitting top mid doing nothing right you have two guys sitting here you have a guy just literally holding b apps like this right and then you have a guy holding a ramp and a guy holding palace or something right like you're just doing nothing you're doing nothing and then you wonder why you can't win because it's so easy you're not pushing you're not pulling you're not manipulating these rotates around right so this just just keep that in mind when you're playing it's the same strat guys i'll give you a, even infinite options to do with these a smokes say you have your teammates throwing a smokes don't have guys sit top mid instead have two people walking underpass you're throwing those a smokes you're getting three people out and then you're boosting a guy up in the window boom now this guy is boosted in the window these window players are gone you can either flank ct or you can just get free kills through here boom kill dead boom here just be more unpredictable and do these plays. You don't have to have a 5Q to do these kind of things. You can literally do this one with one or two other players and just tell your random teammates to throw A pressure and run out A and, you know, make chaos. That's all you need. This doesn't have to be a 5Q thing you have to do. So I think a lot of people are just missing this T side pressure and it can really make it so that uh, your T sides are a lot easier. Trust me, guys. Like I said, I have FPL experience. I am in ECL right now, FPL, I, I see all these concepts and it's a lot easier said than done. I understand that. But once you can start implementing this kind of pressure into your game, you're not going to win every single one, but it's going to make your T sides a lot more dynamic and hard to deal with. At the end of the day, Counter-Strike can be random at times. It can be unlucky and you might still just get absolutely destroyed. But I'd rather get destroyed being proactive and doing stuff like this than get destroyed by just sitting around the map and praying that we, you know, get a kill because they push Palace or get a kill because they through the game or something i'd rather actually win the game instead of relaying on the other team throwing so that's kind of how i feel about it and it can be a lot easier when you actually you know use your head and do these kind of things so in the comments below i want you to write to me what map you would like me to see like to see me explain and you know kind of go into depth about this because i think i want to do that more uh in the following days and weeks in 2023 before we get into 2024 and we start focusing on high quality you know long videos so let me know what maps you want to see let me know what concepts you want me to talk about you guys have been amazing this year so far i can't believe we've almost posted 365 videos one every single day it's just absolutely unreal and you guys are been the only reason i've been able to do it because of all the support all the encouragement so thank you so much for that i'll catch you guys all later you all have a great rest of your day let's keep grinding let's keep working hard and your subscription would mean so much to me i'm trying to get 20,000 subscribers and we're gonna get there one day we're gonna get there so you all take care keep working hard and i hope to see you at the top level keep going